the number one and perhaps the only one concern, the only one question and um, and um, desire for counseling is, uh, Venerable Sir, how should I do loving kindness in this uh, in this time in this place? Is that we do loving kindness? You triple loving kindness to evil people. So there's um, simple, this is one, simple loving kindness to us, the good people, and there is triple loving kindness to us, the evil people. So what's triple there? Number one, we wish them that they stop doing evil deeds. That's the first um, um, part of that triple loving kindness. Second one, we wish them that they do only good deeds. And number three, we wish them that they are in peace. So when we wish others to be peaceful, we do not wish them to be peaceful thanks to their evil. We wish them to be peaceful thanks to the good deeds they did. Now, of course, it's very easy to come to the conclusion that those who are causing us suffering these days, that they do only evil. I am not sure about that. I don't know, but I'm not sure. I will keep it in the I'm not sure part. And uh, even if they did only evil deeds throughout the billions and trillions of lives in the cycle of rebirth, now they can stop. They can stop. How can they stop? By the power of anatta, by the power of not self. There is no self. There is no permanent evil being. We cannot say that they are evil by their intrinsic reality that is permanent. No. Buddhism teaches that there is no self. That means that anything can change. So with this, you could say, immensely optimistic view. I would, of course, call it realistic view. Uh, with this very, uh, very nice positive attitude, we wish the evil people that they stop evil, that, they, that the desire to do evil disappears and that they get the desire to do good deeds and they also do them and finally uh, that they enjoy peace as the result of not doing evil and doing the good deeds so this is how uh, how i counsel them how i answer their questions on how to do loving kindness today